This video shows how to represent an infinite number in Python. So if in Python you can use float in bracket, you can use inf. So this represent infinite number. So let me print it. So it printed as inf. So let me check the type of this. So here I am checking type of float in bracket inf. So it printed as float. So there is different way to represent float in python. The second method is you can import math module then use math.inf. So let me execute this line. So again it's printed inf the same thing. Let me check the type of math.inf. See, it has printed float, the same thing. So let me move to the third method. We can use the decimal class of decimal module. Let me import it, then create an object of decimal. So in bracket, you have to specify infinity. So let me, let me print it. So it printed like this. So if let me check the type of this object, it has printed decimal dot decimal because it's a it's an object of decimal class. So let me move to the test. So here I am just testing does math dot inf is greater than this value. It should print true. Okay, so here I am checking whether math.inf is equal to float of inf because using this way or this way we can represent infinity number, right? So this when I when I check if math.inf equal to float.inf it should print true. So let me check this one math.inf equal to decimal this third method i am checking second method and third method second one and third one so it also should print true so we can represent infinite number in python using one of this method I think it's very simple to use this method float of inf. I would recommend this method. So please subscribe my channel if you like this video.